we've overcome the learning curve. We've kind of crested the hill. We're in a good rhythm. We're heading towards the tail end of the major erection process. And we're really focused on, on wrapping up and getting us out of here before winter hits. It's a job that began in the dead of a harsh winter with the efforts of Chinbro's site work subcontractor to prepare the mountaintop job site and subconsultants who adjusted to numerous permit-related delays. Nearly a year later, the project approached a smooth completion in the cold mists of November. 13 3.3 megawatt Vestas wind turbines were erected by Chinbro crews along a six and a half mile ridge line owned by a private landowner in Penobscot County, Maine. The team also installed 18 miles of transmission and collector line, as well as a substation switchyard where the electricity generated by the turbines will tie into the New England power grid. Team members on the job say it has been an all out effort to meet project milestones successfully. It's been all hands on deck since the day we were told to go. We had a few months in the beginning to get prepared and to get out of the winter season and get through mud season and posted roads. And uh, as soon as those posts were lifted, it was all hands on deck and all go. We worked a lot of long days, a lot of long weeks, uh, but the guys have stepped up. There hasn't been a, an ounce of complaint. Everybody was on the same side, pushing in the same direction to, to meet the goals that we said we could meet. It's been uh, long days. When we did a cable pull, for example, you couldn't just stop in the middle because 4.30 came. You had to finish, so you had to get to the end and get the truck out of the road. So, you know, if it took till 7, 8 o'clock at night, then that's what it took. So, I mean, we did, had to do what we had to do to get it done. So, it, there were long days, not just long days, but 14, 21 days straight, a few times, just because it had to be done. Uh, the team has performed excellent. I think that the scheduling and the people have pulled through marvelously and done an excellent job in time of need and put a lot of hours in to get there. You know, I think that's some of the things that Chimber does well is that we really dig down and we use the full depth of the company and draw from that resource and bring people in as a company. We band together to get it done. There's not a lot of time outside the job, but it's such an interesting job and it's such a fun job and what a unique opportunity that it's been a great experience. There's some sacrifices that go along with that, but it's part of the work, it's part of the industry we work in. Um, and I think everybody would be proud to, to list this job on a resume and say they were a part of it. So there's been some long days and some long weeks but it's been a very good experience. The team has experienced good relations with homeowners in the area who will benefit from Chinbro's efforts to upgrade power lines. Instead of power outages during the winter months, local residents can expect a more reliable system to bring power to their homes. Meanwhile, Chinbro can expect to attract attention from wind developers who need companies with expertise in the wind energy field. We upgraded 18 miles of line to get here from the substation, so majority of the main road had been neglected for so many years that the tree growth and all that stuff had been encroaching the power line. So every time the wind would blow or the snow would get on the uh, trees, it would push them into the lines and trip the power out. So they were constantly having power outages. They said in the winter time, they'd have power outages sometimes up to three times a day. We probably fixed probably 85 to 90% of the line on this road, which will pay dividends for them in the winter time so that they're less apt to lose power. Yeah, I think it's going to be a very successful job. We have an extremely happy client. Um, the, uh, the vendors are very happy. We have a great relationship with Vestas. It's going to just boost our resume. There were some challenges initially through the permitting phase. We condensed the schedule went from an 18-month project to an 11-month project. And if we uh, were able to, to finish like we planned and meet those milestones, it's going to be a great feather in the cap of Chimbro to show that we can overcome and we can get done what we say we're going to do. To me it's the challenge of, okay, it's something different, which is why I like this line of work in the first place. Is it's not all, it's not like factory work, it's not like a, you know, an old grind of you do the same thing day after day after day. Just in the nature of the work, it's different and I like getting back into doing more of these terminations and it's a challenge because it's meticulous work and it's, it, you know, it has to be right. You've got you know, 34,500 volts going through these conductors and those terminations have to be perfect. So it's very challenging and it's, again, satisfying when you do the testing and everything's you know, good, you feel good. The new customers will recognize Chimbro as a spot holder in the wind energy services installation group that we can stand there and do it just like the other companies can. And you know, we're willing to put our foot forward and spend the money and do what we need to do to get it done and meet all of our goals and put the right people in place.